गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स is my voice is audible na good morning sir good morning good morning no one is responding that's why i am asking fine <clears throat> so this is a very poor strength we are present in that why because uh, it is a saturday of course but you have covered the uh, two topics that means isomerism as well as the uh, next unit to your second unit in the organic parts that is alkanes we covered the preparation of the alkanes and also properties of the alkanes and one more thing is here today is the last day of your online classes only the one hour we are left for this and most of the students are the first thing is sir important questions sir important questions so i am very afraid of that one actually why you are asking of important question is i feel as this you are not concentrate on the topics that means you have to learn chemistry first of all without learning of the chemistry only getting of the marks is not a criteria of course certificate is you require but the after the finishing of your degree is going to the any interview you are facing of the chemistry topics you can face the a blank face now so concepts are very important no one is interested on the concepts the everyone is want the important questions if you are bug or whatever you want but uh, today i decided i give the important questions only i don't mind why because no one is interested in the requirement of the concept understanding so the concepts are very important particularly in the chemistry why because so many but i say that most of the students are afraid of organic part i told that organic is very 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 easy among the all the branches of chemistry but thing is a proper way of study you are properly studying the organic part the concepts are introduced that whatever the concepts are present if you are understand the concepts the organic chemistry is very damn easy i can say it is a ping finger tips you can use that every time i am using the words it's like a mathematics just like a mathematics so whatever the formulas you are learn same that will be present in the organic part so yesterday i told that the preparation of the alkanes in the preparation of the alkanes we are having of the three name reactions are there woods reaction grignard reaction kolb's reaction so it will be forever how whatever the chemistry is there urs reaction means nothing that is the same concept what is the define these when alkyl halide is treated with the sodium metal in presence of dry ether formation of higher alkanes it is a urs reaction sir anywhere you can get that one grignard reaction when alkyl halide is treated with the magnesium metal in presence of dry ether formation of rmgx rmgx is called as grignard reagent this grignard reagent in on hydrolysis you will get the alkane so what is the difference between a grignard and wood reaction is from the grignard reaction you can prepared any one of the alkane that means odd and even number of alkanes but wood reaction you can only prepared even number of alkanes only so in the examination if so in the wood reaction how to prepare butane how to prepare for butane from ethyl bromide the question is asked if the question is like that so you have to immediately point out that how you are getting ethyl bromide ethyl means c2 they want butane means four so it is nothing but the urs reaction ir alkane that means doubling one single is when you are taking in the reagent but particularly in the reactant sites you are getting of the double of the compounds so that is a urs reaction when ethyl bromide is reacted with the sodium metal in presence of dry ether formation of butane and sodium bromide is liberated out this is a simple mechanism when you are getting up this answer the concept if you have understand only 
otherwise what is this we don't know the equation if you search the book you won't get that one also so this is a phenomenon what is the mechanism is involved in that one so you are getting of the initial whatever the reactant is there you are getting of the double of that one c2 means c4 you are getting they are asking of ethyl bromide is given they want the butane may c4 ga they want so it is nothing but this one suppose if you are asking of ethyl bromide to ethane only that is a grignard reagent ethyl bromide is treated with magnesium metal means ethyl magnesium bromide is a grignard reagent which is as hydrolysis we are getting of ethane ethane is formed see this is the mechanism is this one and particularly cold electrolysis is there electrolysis method electrolysis means dissociation of the compound sodium fat sodium fatty acids whatever the sodium fatty acids we are taking that sodium fatty acids are electrolysis you are getting of the ordinary alkanes whatever you want the alkanes are prepared so like that you are you are having of that one so in this case particularly <clears throat> now you are having of the next topic is the cycloalkanes are there shall i start the cycloalkanes or you want the important questions only no one is responding no sir sab bol ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿ
first hydrogen is a one next is you are getting of the adding of the two you are getting of three next add the eight you are getting of 11 11 add again, eight, nine. 18 that is like that so you are having of that one write the electronic configuration that is a five mass question now second question is we take the screenshot sama yeah so whatever the questions we am using of this one okay second question is what is diagonal relationship i already told that diagonal yes, relationship sir. means the first element of the first period is resemble with the second element of the next period you have to write the first element of the first period is resemble with the second element of the next period is called as diagonal relationship whether it is a lithium plus magnesium or you can go to the second group also you are having the the magnesium and aluminum is there okay whatever that the common question it is even the second bit you are having of the second unit the it is also there so what is diagonal relationship you have to write explain the diagonal relationship with lithium and magnesium next question what is the anomalous behavior of anomalous why you are showing of the lithium why because lithium is a small it is a smaller size i electronegative atom it is a hard metal and ductile it is giving of that one due to of that reason this is showing of anomalous property among the group okay already i explained these other things that was only that's why i am always this that please limb i actually listen first topics concepts the concept only we are writing up the questions now these are the questions are appearing in the examination if you see you go through the question papers four five years question paper only these questions are there apart from these questions only they are asking the questions in the examination next is what is write the important minerals and sodium i already told that sodium in important minerals are common salt borax borax na2b407 borax impart impurity of the borax is called as a tincol okay like that you have to write next what is the important minerals of potash we are having of the carnalite magnesite okay i given the so many things are there epsom salt these are the important minerals of potassium next write the biological important of the potassium biological import what is the use of the biological importance of the potassium potassium is required for both not only the human beings plants and human beings are required the potassium our body is requiring of every kg of the human being is requiring of 2 grams of the potassium is required for a day i already told that because of your the potassium is required why it is useful to digestion of your food whatever the fluids form the after the digestion of the food it will be enter into the blood vessels the blood vessels the veins are the fluids will be passes with the help of the potassium only so these are the important of that one and the proper growth of the plant requiring of the that particular potassium only so this is important of the biological this is the first chart unit these are the important five chart bits we are having next is write the general electronic configuration of second a same i am repeated there is first a is there second a what are the second a group elements beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium red you have to remember like that write the electronic configuration you will get the sum of the sort of the cell this is a five mass question and what is the important minerals of magnesium okay write the preparation of super phosphate of lime i given that super phosphate lime ca3 h2 po4 tetrahedrice calcium phosphate and calcium sulfate that is a gypsum is added the both is a mixture is called as super phosphate of lime it is the best fertilizer of the farmer how you are preparing with the help of the rock salt phosphate rocks so that is a bone ash or rock salt rock salt is calcium phosphate ca3 po4 taken twice when the rock phosphate or bone ash is crushed into the fine powder and mixed into the sulfuric acid keep it aside for the 38 hours the dark place that means fermentation takes place you will get the super phosphate of lime that's all write the equation this what is the use of the super phosphate of lime this formula is important okay that's off next you are having off what is the explain the diagonal relationship between the beryllium and aluminum just now i told that 
Second group is also having of the same similar property of the first element, beryllium. Beryllium is a small size and also beryllium and aluminum, both are oxides are amphoteric in nature. Both can exist as the amphoteric in nature. Both are in small size, having of the same electronegativity, 1.0, 1.2. Electronegativity is same. Both are a formation of the carbonates, bicarbonates. Okay, but the bicarbonates are very easily dissolved compared to the other compounds. And beryllium and aluminum directly reacted at ordinary temperature or room temperature. It reacted with the nitrogen as well as the ammonia, but remaining other elements do not react with the nitrogen at ordinary at room temperature. Due to that reason, a diagonal relationship is there. Next, why the beryllium is showing this anomalous property? Means because of the small size, hard nature. Small atomic size. Size that is only the same whatever the first unit I thought that one same I am repeated the in the second unit also with the help of the different elements. Okay, write the group reagents. This is a third lesson. Already I given a chart. First group elements. This means we are having of the what is the reagent dilute HCl. Second group is there. It is given the second group elements are compounds you have to identify with the help of dilute HCl plus HTS. HTS Hydrogen sulfide, I have given a list of the group elements. I already also told that one in the examination point of view. That is also very important. Why? Because in the third lesson, we are having of the, those are the only topics which are present. Okay. The group reagent we are having the in your book, page number 51. First group, second group, third group, fourth group, and fifth group. In that one compulsory, you are, they will ask. Okay. This is about the my first year. Now coming to the SI type questions. Write the important minerals of sodium. Already it is in the five mass bit. Again, I'm asking you why because it's a 10 mass question. You are extracting the sodium metal by the Kastner process. So Kastner process means you are having of the electrolysis of that one. At the cathode, you are getting of the sodium. Sodium is deposited. At the anode, you are getting of the chlorine is gas is evolved. That is a Kastner process. So the Kastner process, you are already I told that the diagram is very important. First, draw the diagram and you are getting off the some important of that one diagram. Then the you are getting off. So page number in your book, page number 11. Next is the how to extract the sodium metal by Down's process. And the next is the how to extract the caustic soda by I mean the cell, Nelson cell. These are three are very important essay type questions in the first lesson only. First lesson only. Okay. Next is a, write the important compounds of magnesium and calcium. Second lesson this is what are the important compounds? Magnesize, dolomite. You are having of the magnesium. So these are the important compounds we are preparing. Magnesium hydroxide, magnesium carbonate, magnesium sulfate, like that. Calcium carbonate, calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide, plaster of Paris, gypsum for the calcium compounds you are preparing. These are list out the at least eight to 10 compounds for each element. I list out the magnesium and calcium. These are the important. Next is the, write the neat diagram. Specially used the operators which are in the microanalysis. Anyhow, we are going to the practical classes. In that, we are experienced with the operators. What operators are used for the identification, identification of your salt analysis? Means a salt is given. You are identify the cations as well as the anions. So for that purpose, what you are using salts means they are keeping up the watch glass. You are testing with the test tubes. You are using of the, that is spatula, means taking of that one salts. Filter papers, clonical flaws, beaker, pipette, burette. These are all the operators you have to draw. This is a 10 mass question. Just draw. So all most of the students are here, one doing the mistakes. Please remember as a science student, diagrams must be drawn with the pencil only. They won't keeping of the pencil also some, some of the students. We are so going there to is a diagram in the textbook. Yeah. You are having of the diagrams also there. So page number, the diagrams, operators, page number 38, 34. 34. So 
34 to 38. Okay. Operators, what is given? Yes, sir. Of the, that particular, you know, the watch glass means one glass, just like a plate, small plate. Yes, sir. Tube, you know, the test tube, spatula, you know, in your spoon, household purpose, you use, that is a spatula here. The pronunciation words are different. Test tube, spatula, that is a beaker, conical flask, pipette, burette, and Bunsen burner. You have to just simple structure. I don't want to a clear picture. I, just a rough idea. What is that particularly? So Binchen Burner means, means there is like a, a two vertical columns, ring system, uh, base is there, small pipe is there. That's all enough. These are the neat diagrams. They are asking what? If you observe previous question papers, these are the important questions. Any doubts from this? This is a black one. Are you happy with that one now? Yeah. Everyone is having the question now? Important questions are important. From every first class onwards, I'm getting of the messages. So uh, you required the important questions. Yesterday also, some of the students are wrote to the message. Sir, exams are coming. Only one month is left. How can I prepare? If you are not given Excuse the important me, questions. Excuse me, sir. Amma. In super phone of line, we need to write properties and uses also. No need, Amma. No need. Super phosphate of lime is preparation. Then super phosphate of lime is a you uh, use it as a fertilizer. That's all. It's a good fertilizer. That's all. That's enough. Okay. Main sir. Is a preparation. Ma. Equation: rock phosphate plus sulfuric acid gives rise to super phosphate of lime. That's important. Equation is important. Mainly, you can focus on the examiner. Will be focus on the equation only. For the five marks, if you are writing only equation, you will give the two to three marks. Remaining theory part, we don't mind. That is left for the two marks question. Any more? No, sir. Okay. Have you taken the screenshot now? Yes. Right. Uh, we'll go to the second black. The black two. These are the questions. Take the screenshot first. Now, totally, this is organic part. I given almost all 22, 20, 22 questions are essay type, sorry, short bits, and uh, nine to ten questions are essay type questions are given. In that, the first question is how the carbon compounds are classified. The carbon compounds are classified on the basis of carbon skeleton. Skeleton, we are R in that is one. What is the classification of open chain compounds? Open chain, cyclic, and closed chain. No, first write the hydrocarbons are classified into open chain compound and closed compounds. Open chain compounds are further classified into saturated hydrocarbons. Unsaturated. Unsaturated hydrocarbons. Okay. saturated hydrocarbons are 
example the alkanes alkanes are under of we are using an h2n plus 2 give the best example methane ethane over next unsaturated hydrocarbons these unsaturated hydrocarbons are further classified into double bond alkenes and also triple bond alkynes alkenes general formula is cn h2n examples are ethene propene ethene also called as the common name is ethylene now in the alkynes triple bond in the triple bond the general formula is cn h2n minus 2 examples are acetylene ethyne c2 h2 is acetylene common name is acetylene propyne like that this is the saturated hydrocarbons over unsaturated over that means open chain compounds are completed now coming to the cyclic compound cyclic compounds are classified into again further into homocyclic compound and heterocyclic compound heterocyclic homo hetero means homo means similar atoms are formation of in the closed form those are called as homocyclic hetero means apart from the carbon and hydrogen some other elements other elements like nitrogen, nitrogen oxygen sulfur sulfur halogen x sulfur if it is a present those are called as hetero compounds homocyclic compounds further classified into alicyclic compounds aromatic compounds alicyclic compounds are examples are cycloalkanes means alicyclic means saturated hydrocarbons only 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 single bond is present between the carbon and carbon those are arranged in the cyclic form those are called as alicyclic compound our lesson is there the cycloalkanes cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane cyclohexane cycloheptane these are the alicyclic hydrocarbons it means in between the carbon and carbon they are arranged as a only single bond only those are called as alicyclic compounds aromatic means the alternative double and single bond is there alternative double bond single bond those are called as aromatic hydrocarbons aromatic hydrocarbons example is your benzene beautiful example is a benzene is there those are the aromatic this is over next heterocyclic compound heterocyclic means apart from the carbon and nitrogen or pyrrole furan thiophene it is a third semi is there okay this is the classification that's all just to draw that classification what i given in the class next come on to next how the carbon compounds are classified on the basis of the functional group functional group yeah i already told that functional on the basis of the functional group so 8 to 10 to 12 compounds i give it simple writing of single bond between the carbon carbon sir it is alkanes give the methane double bond is there alkene alkene ethene triple bond is there alkyne give the ethyne over next functional group if all hydroxy group is called alcohol hydroxy group is called as a alcohol if it give the any one add the methyl group methyl alcohol or methanol if cho is there aldehyde aldehyde is a cho functional group methanol d8 if co is there keto group dimethyl ketone if coh is acid carboxylic acid carboxylic carboxylic acetic acid give the example if no2 nitro cyanide methyl cyanide nc nc is the isocyanide Isocyanide, methyl isocyanide are given the tragedy also in the Bhopal tragedy. Okay, like that. Ammonia NH two, amine. Okay, so amide CO NH two, amide is there. Halide X is there. That like that. Minimum eight to ten compounds. We have functional groups. Give that one. Give the example is over. Okay. Next coming to the. What is the? What is that? Chain isomer. Ah, yesterday's topic only. Yesterday topic only. What is the chain isomerism? Give with example. Chain isomer means the carbon and atoms are same. Same molecule. This is called as a chain isomerism. Chain isomerism is possible for the only saturated hydrocarbons with minimum number of carbon atoms are four. Butane only can exist as chain isomers. They are C four H ten is the butane formula. Molecular formula is one, but molecular formula a compound is having of the one molecular formula, but different molecular structure is called as isomers. 
So your butane is having the molecular formula is C4H10. But you are writing the molecular structures are n-butane. That means straight chain. One compound carbon is getting off the that is substitution. It is called as a isobutane. Isopentane C5H12. N-pentane, isopentane, neopentane. You are getting a three isomers, chain isomers. Like that, I already told you the exam. You will getting a five isomers. Eighteen, nine isomers. Octane, eighteen isomers. Nanane, thirty-five isomers. Decane, seventy-five isomers. Like that, you are having. This is your examination point of view. Next, what is geometrical isomerism? Explain with example. I already told that it is a compulsory Cis question. Cis and trans. Are unsaturated hydrocarbons between the double bond between the carbon and carbon. Those uh, are called geometrical isomerism. For that purpose, you must write. This is only the skeleton. Okay. This you require. For this one, we are getting off that one. Geometrical isomerism for any compound. C four H eight butene. Two butene, cis two butene plus two butene, C two two Cl two, cis one two dichloroethene, or trans one two dichloroethene. That is about the geometrical isomers. Okay, next question. Our organic reactions are classified. Organic reactions are classified into four three types: nucleophilic reactions, electrophilic reactions, and Free radical mechanism. This whole topic is there. We have to learn the first lesson only in the organic part. That means in the fourth lesson. Okay. And the next is how the reagents are. Organic reagents are classified. The reagents are classified into nucleophilic substitution reactions, addition reactions. These are the reagents will be elimination reactions like that we are having off. Next, what is resonance energy? Resonance means. It is having of the different structures which are present of the different structures that resonance hybrid will be formed. Benzene is having of the resonance energy is the 36 kilocalories for of energy. Why? Because three double bonds are present in the benzene. Each double bond, if you are remove the double bond, means requiring of one hydrogen is added. It required 28.4 kilocalories of energy is required. So by removing of the three hydrogen, three double bonds means Three hydrogen molecules are added, so 28.4 into three, we are getting of the some amount. But actually, the benzene ring in the particular laboratory, they are requiring of 48.6 calories is required. The difference is got nothing but 36 kilocalories are getting. So benzene resonance energy is the 36 kilocalories, right? Next, hyper conjugation means below the calculation of the orbitals, we are getting of hyper conjugation. Next. Explain the halogenation of alkenes. Just now, yesterday I told that this is a very very important question. Explain the halogenation of alkenes in a chain reaction. Already told that alkenes are saturated hydrocarbons. They do not undergo any substitution reaction under normal condition. Alkenes can undergo substitution reactions, but under normal condition they do not know why because they are saturated. But under drastic condition. In the drastic condition, only the alkenes can undergo of some substitution reaction. So here halogenation is there. Halogenation means here what happened? Halogenation actually in the normal condition, alkenes react with chlorine and bromine. But in presence of sunlight only, the alkene can react with the chlorination. But the reaction does not stop. It is a free mechanism, free radical mechanism. First formation of methyl chloride is formed. This methyl chloride again react with the chlorine in presence of sunlight. Formation of methylidine dichloride. This methylidine dichloride again react with the chlorine. Formation of chloroform CHCl3. What is the formula of chloroform in the multiple choice CHCl3 question? CHCl3 plus H. CHCl3 is called as chloroform. This CHCl3 again reacted with the chlorine formation of carbon tetrachloride. What is the formula of carbon tetrachloride? CHCl4 is carbon tetrachloride. 
please remember in this multiple choice questions also sometimes they ask this is about the mechanism free radical mechanism is there in this case what happened actually in the halogenation process you are any chemical reaction in the organic chemistry or in any chemistry you are having three processes are there initiation and termination initially initially the reactions occur stop that is called as initiation step even though for digestion of food also what happened after the taking of the food it will goes to the our small intestine in small intestine what is there gastric juice is there what is the gastric juice hydrochloric acid is the gastric Hydro. juice of human beings the hydrochloric acid is mixed with the, our food so slowly reaction takes place this is called as a initiation step after the digestion process the forming of the fluids so many number of fluids in the small intestine is it is called as propagation means total the digestion food will be digested and formation in the form of the fluids some of the waste is also present in the small intestine termination step the fluid is sucked by the our blood and the waste will be goes to the big intestine this is called as a termination step so in a very chemical reaction there are the three steps are there initiation propagation termination initiation means initial propagation means widen propagate you are stapling of the plants propagate it the propagation will takes place termination means ending of the step this is called as a three steps are involved in that any chemical reaction so in this if we are getting of the these are the steps which are present so in the case you are also halogenation also having of the three step the last propagation step you are getting of methyl chloride chlorine chlorine is getting of the chlorine gas and methyl free radical and chlorine free radical will be attacked methyl chloride is formed this is the termination step chlorine free radical chlorine free radical, again again the chlorine gas it is also formed like that you are getting of this particularly okay next question what is urs reaction explain with the example just now i told that urs reaction is what alkyl halide alkyl halide is reflects with sodium metal in in presence of dry ether formation of ir alkanes single will comes to the double grignard reaction alkyl halide is react with the magnesium metal in presence of dry ether formation of a simple alkane next is the very important one Coulomb electrolysis. I already told that Coulomb electrolysis, that is sodium fatty acids, are given as sodium acetate on hydrolysis. During the electrolysis, we are getting of methane. Our sodium fatty acids, electrolysis, we are getting of alkanes. That is about the Coulomb electrolysis. Next question is, explain Bayer strain theory. This is under the next chapter, cycloalkanes. what are the cycloalkanes cycloalkanes are closed ring forms the best example of cycloalkanes are cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane cyclohexane and cycloheptane these are the important of the cycloalkanes so in the cycloalkanes they are formation of only they are undergoing of addition reactions who are undergoing addition reaction only cyclopropane cyclobutane is undergoing addition reaction and forming the open that is a closed form closed ring chain is the opening but cyclopentane cyclohexane does not undergoing addition reactions why oh. that is explained by the bayer strain theory what is says that actually cycloalkanes are we are believed as the planar structures due to of the planar structure cyclopropane means is a triangular structure means the cyclopropane angle is bond angle is 60 degrees but under normal condition normal bond angle of the saturated hydrocarbons are 109 degrees 28 minutes if you see that any deviation any bond angle strain is present means base strain here is calculated bond strain 
What is the bond strain? Normal bond angle minus actual bond angle of that particular molecule. If you see the cyclopropane, normal bond angle is 109 degrees 28 minutes, but actual bond angle is only 60 degrees. The difference we are using up an average that some particularly 24 degrees of the bond angle strain is there. This was the strain. The cyclopropane is going addition reaction. The open the closed form. It is coming from the straight chain. This is released by removing of the straight chain. Okay, that's why butane also undergoing addition reaction. But pentane and hexane does not undergoing the addition reaction. They can only undergoing the substitution reaction because of cyclopentane does not having any bond angle strain. That's why they are closed form only. Cyclohexane is small amount of bond angle strain is there. Small amount of bond angle strain. But due to that reason also, Bayer this does not explain. He believed that only cyclopropane and butane only having the bond angle strain. They are undergoing addition reaction. So they are opening the state chains. This is explained by the Bayer strain. What is Saxamore theory? Saxamore theory, whatever the defects are present in the base It contains three carbon plane. Sorry, ma? It contains three carbon planar as a cycle. All are planars only. Cycloalkanes are planar in structures. But stay, be, 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 Sagze Moreva theory, what he says that it is not a planar structures. If it is a planar means there is no bond angle strain. If it is a planar, so not planar structures, particularly three carbon atoms, four carbon atoms having the planar structure, but the five and six above number of carbon atoms are not in planar structures. Due to the reason cyclohexane, according to the Bayer strain theory, their having of the bound angle is there, angle strain is there. But he says that that particular cyclohexane is having of the two conformers, conformers. One is form is called as a chair form, another is called as a boat form. Two forms are there under normal temperature. Cyclohexane exists as a chair form. Why chair form is more stable than boat form? That is explained. Chair form is chair structure. Boat form is a boat structure. Is there? We have to explain in the explain the Saxe-Moore theory. So today's actually that topic is there. Next is why chair conformation is more stable. I already told that in the chair conformation, what happened? C two, C three, C four, C five carbon atoms are on the same plane. But C1 and C4, C1 is above the plane, and C4 is the and plane. Not in your black hole. Chair form is not having the black hole and bow split hydrogen. Chair form C2, C3, C5, C6. These carbons are present on the plane. That means base, chair base. Above the plane, C1 is there. Below the plane, C4 is there. The C1 hydrogen, that means CH2 is there. Two hydrogens are there. C4 hydrogen, two hydrogens are there. Very far is there. There is no attraction force is there. There is no repulsion force is there. That's why chair form is more stable. But in the board form, C2, C3, C5, C6 are the same plane. But C1, C4 are having of the board form. Means this is like that. This is a structure. This particular C1, C4 hydrogens are the plug hole hydrogens are very nearer. Due to the near of hydrogens, there is a repulsion is there. Due to the repulsion, board form is less stable than the chair form. That's why they are explained. Next, what is sets of rule? It is third lesson that is alkenes. Alkenes, what is the sets of is saying as? If unsaturated hydrocarbon is there, the negative part of the addendum goes to the least number of carbon atom having of the less number of hydrogen atom that will be there. That means there is a formation of the two isomers are formed. Those are called as a two isomers in that isomers. N-propyl chloride or isopropyl chloride is there. So in that formation, which is the stable means isopropyl chloride is the stable one. They were explained in the stage of rule. Similar manner, Marconi of rule also same like that. That is preparation of the alkane, alkenes. Preparation of the alkenes, sets of rule is given. That is. Next is the. What are the.
Uh, what is ozonalysis? Ozonalysis. Explain this one. Ozonalysis means nothing but the common is there. Any unsaturated hydrocarbon. Please remember the definition. Ozonalysis definition for any organic compounds here. Unsaturated means double bond or triple bond. Any unsaturated hydrocarbon is reacted with the ozone. Formation of ozonide. Ozonide is an intermediate product, unstable product. It is an explosive one also. Ozonide is formed. When ozonide is hydrolyzed, you are getting off corresponding carbonyl compounds. Carbonyl compounds are what? Aldehyde or ketones. They are formed. This process is called as ozonolysis. I am again repeating the ozonolysis. When unsaturated hydrocarbon is reacted with the ozone to form ozonide, this ozonide is unstable and explosive in nature. This ozonide on hydrolysis to give the corresponding carbonyl compounds is called ozonolysis. Now, here, alkene means ethene or ethylene. Ethylene is ozonide and ozonolysis. Ethylene is an ozonolysis formation of ethylene ozonide. This ethylene ozonide on hydrolysis, we are getting off two moles of formaldehyde, HCHO. HCHO, formaldehyde plus hydrogen peroxide. In ozonolysis process, what do you get? Hydrogen peroxide is removed as a byproduct. So this process is the ethylene ozonide. Okay, this is called as ozonolysis. If you go to the second same, then that alkynes are there. Same ozonolysis is repeated question again. In the second same also. Okay, so please remember the ozonolysis question will be repeated in the second same also. Now, after that, what is the polymerization? Everyone, you know that. What do you mean by the polymerization? The small number of small units, the number of small units joined together, the number of small units joined together to form a big molecule or a joint molecule is called as polymerization. Now, in your topic, alkenes means ethyne or ethylene. Ethylene means CH2 double bond CH2. N number of ethylene molecules are combined together to formation of polythene. You are polythene carry bags, nothing but polymerization. You are preparing the polythene covers with the help of ethylene, ethylene molecule. Ethylene means CH2 double bond CH2. How many number you are taking? N number, more than 100. The small units are joining. Formation of a big molecule. What you are getting up? Polymer is getting. That is a polythene. Polythene covers are formation. That is called as polymerization. Example also we are given. Okay. Now, next. Write the classification of alkadienes in that Sir, alkene. Once again, Sir, once again, explain polymerization. Okay. Small units we are taking off n number of or many number of small units joined together to form a big molecule big means gained joint molecule you can't g a i n t a joint molecule a big molecule without elimination of anything is called as a polymerization actually now in the case here the example is we are taking of ethylene molecule. N number of ethylene molecule are taking. Undergoing of undergoing of polymerization. This ethylene is formation of polythene. Just we are poly. Poly means N number. So you can write as CH2 single bond, CH2 single bond. Like that bracket is in presence of N molecules. Can I write that on the board? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is ethylene molecule. OK. How many number you are taking? N number. And the polymerization. What happened? This is? So video is not coming. Sarima? Sorry? Video is not yet. 
See this one, ethylene undergo polymerization. What is this? Polyethylene. This is called as a polymerization. N number you are taken. Getting of polymer is polyethylene. This. Now okay, the video. No sir. No sir. Video is not coming. Is coming, Amma? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Right? No, not sir. Coming, sir. I'm not getting, sir. See, in my screen, is getting off. Video is coming. Yes, no, sir. It's coming, sir. Coming, coming, coming. Yes, sir. Yes. You go to fast, three more, two more blocks are there. Okay, it's completed. This is block one. So next to you are having so like that. I will give the, the remaining two blacks also questions. First of all, you take the questions, then I will explain that one remaining one. Okay. This is the second black. You are take this screenshot. Next we we'll go to the third black also.
there some technical problem is there okay any of you are having of Right, fine. <clears throat> like that, we are having out the so many number code. Third, third block and fourth block. I will send you. Okay. Now, we are having out the small idea regarding of the first unit, the first block and second block. The important questions. So, in that case, we can also discussing the essay type questions of the second block. Why? Because third block I am not getting off properly, and fourth block also I can send. in our whatsapp group third block and second uh, fourth block the pdf sir not getting off properly here sir i am not in whatsapp group yeah yeah better two blacks has completed thus initially you will get some a sort of idea regarding of that blacks next third and fourth black why because third black is the atomic structure and gas state simple one and the fourth black is the periodic table and molecular orbital theory is there bc is not there like that Sir, share the link of WhatsApp. WhatsApp yes, group, yes, sir. Yeah, I will do. Now, if we focus on the organic part, essay type questions. Go to the exercise type questions. Why? Because there is a alkadines classification. Classification of alkadines are we are having of the three types of classifications are there: conjugated diene, cumulative diene, and alenes are there. So these are the classification. Without explanation, I can't explain that alkadines. Why? Because there is simple story is there the alkadines dienes means two double bonds are present in unsaturated carbon those are called as alkadines conjugated diene means the alternative double bond single bond is present those are called as conjugated diene and uh, cumulative dienes means immediately you are getting of the more than number of single bonds present in between the double bonds those are called as a cumulative dienes alenes means in side by side carbon atom is having of the double bond is called as alenes those are called as a classification three are there classification of diene next preparation of alkadines is there next explain one for addition of the that alkadines are there last question deals all the reaction also very important these are the important five marks bits only from the alkadines deals all the reaction means we are having of that is butene one three butadiene one three butadiene is reacted with malic anhydride One three buta diene is reacted with the malic anhydride formation of adduct. Adduct is formed means intermediate product is formed. Those called as that is called as these order reaction. Is the compulsory repeated question in every examination. These order reaction. Okay, that is about the five marks. Please. Now coming to the ten marks questions. Write the hybridization. Explain what is hybridization. Explain sp three, sp two, sp three. You know that hybridization is what. Mixing of pure orbitals of same atom of similar energy to form same number of new equivalent yeah. hybrid orbitals is called as hybridization. Mixing of pure orbitals of same atom of similar energy to form same number of same number of equivalent orbitals, new orbitals is called as hybridization. Sp three there, sp two is there, sp. 
regarding of sp3 means one spherical shaped s orbital three dumbbell shaped p orbital is mixing formation of four sp3 hybrid orbitals are present these four sp3 hybrid orbitals are present on the carbon atom as arranged as a tetrahedral bond angle so tetrahedrally present the bond angle is 190 degrees 28 minutes so we are giving up the exam is example is methane ethane similarly sp2 sp also okay that you have to write next is explain give the rules for the nomenclature what are the rules are present so to writing of the nomenclature you are having of the certain rules are there explaining the iupac nomenclature you are having a first is a prefix is there root word primary suffix secondary suffix okay. root word indicates number of carbon atoms primary suffix is either it is saturated or unsaturated secondary suffix any functional group is there prefix means any substitution that's why we are writing the nomenclature of organic compound but in that certain rules are there first select the longest chain second is any substitution is there second rule is if any substitution the substitution must be comes under least number carbon atom third rule is if the any functional group is there the functional group is in, included in the main chain and the number is formed from the functional group itself that means if aldehyde group is there in the long chain we have to number from the aldehyde group onwards only whether it is a straight or branched one that you have to write third rule and fourth rule is if number of substituents are two or more you have to write the alphabetical order you must the substituents must be right that means prefix must be right as per alphabetical order only that's these are the four rules we are framing to getting of the nomenclature next is the what is the isomers that is acidic class general method of Some preparation with same molecular formula but different molecular structure yes yesterday's class next is the preparation of the alkanes and the properties general method of preparation of cycloalkane cycloalkane general method are we are having of perkins method freund method and reduction method is there so perkins method is nothing but simple the freund method also is very simple and uh, reduction means cyclobenzene that means benzene is reduction we are getting of cyclohexane that is a important formula getting of the that means three exene that benzene is having of the three double bonds are there the three bonds will be removed out with the helping of adding of the three hydrogen in presence of nickel catalyst that is a reduction process getting of cyclohexane but the freund process we are using of dihaloalkanes dihaloalkanes means we are taking of the 13 dichloro propane i am taking 13 dichloro propane is taken in presence of sodium metal formation of cyclopropane if support 14 dichloro propane di dichloro butane i am taken 14 dichloro butane i am taken in presence of sodium metal we are getting off cyclobutane like that everything is we are getting off five means of the freund freund method is useful to prepare all the cycloalkanes but particularly perkins method only cyclopropane only prepared with the help of perkins method what is there ethylene dibromide is taken when ethylene dibromide is reacted with the disodium malonic ester ethylene dibromide is reacted with the disodium malonic ester in presence of ethyl alcohol when during the hydrolysis and heating you are getting of cyclopropane that is a perkins method so this is about the general method of the preparation of salt cycloalkanes next is already i explained the bayer strain theory saxemor theory next is the write the general method of preparation of alkenes alkenes also we are having of that one the alkenes the writing of the serge proof is there from the alcohol you can prepare preparation of the alcohol and also dihalohalogenations alcohols and serge proof you can that means elimination will be takes place from the alpha carbon atom alpha carbon means a substituent which is present on that particular carbon is called as alpha carbon side by carbons are called as a beta carbon i uh, 
uh, after the beta carbon, the carbon is called as a gamma carbon, like that. So if substitution is present, least number of hydrogen atom, the halogenation means substitution will be eliminated out. And the formation of the bond is called the, is explained by the stage of that is called as the alkenes preparation. In that alkene preparation, next is the main important, the long question is, what is Marconi cuff rule? What is anti Marconi cuff rule? Marconi cuff rule is nothing but if the any the, the negative part of addendum is present in unsaturated hydrocarbon, the negative part of the addendum will be close to the less number of hydrogen atom, but not to the more number of hydrogen atom. That means if any unsaturated hydrocarbons are there, you are using of the halogenation or hydrogen halide. That will be substitution will be you are getting of the two isomers. One isomer is isopropyl, another is a n-propyl. So isopropyl is a more stable than the n-propyl compound. And because isopropyl compound is a 97% of the compound, that is a product, product is formed. But n-propyl is formed only 3% of the product is present. That means the major product is isopropyl only in the Marconi cuff rule. But anti Marconi cuff rule, what happened? That is nothing but only single isomer is formed. There is no formation of another isomers. If the you take an isopro that is butyl bromide, bromide is the hallucination takes place. We are getting of the n propyl bromide only. There is 100% of product is formed. So that's why it is called as anti Marconi cuff rule or peroxide effect. Why? Because in presence of peroxide, Hydrogen peroxide, you are using the reagent hydrogen peroxide in the anti Marconi cuff rule. Due to the peroxide effect, all the uh, it is also called as cold rush effect. Why? Because it is Karch effect is also called as why? Because Karch is the one more scientist. It is derived the, that particular experiment, Karch effect, because of the presence of the hydrogen peroxide. It can form only N only, one single isomer only, not double isomer. But in the Marconi cuff rule, you are getting of the both isomers. But in that both isomers, n propyl is least stable, but isopropyl is the most stable one. Already I told that the iso ozone analysis and polymerization is also okay. This is about the second chapter. And go to the third block. You are having the atomic structure is there. I will conclude within two minutes, two, three minutes. Why? Because already time over. Atomic structure, mainly Ruther for atomic model, alpha ray scattering ether. Bohr's atomic model, explanation of hydrogen spectra. We are having the hydrogen spectra. Hydrogen is having of the single electron system, but it's giving off number of component lines. There are number of components in the spectroscopy. We are classified the number of components are Lyman series, Bauman series, Prakat series, Pachan, and Fun series. This is explained by the Bohr's atomic model. And the next is what is quantum number? Quantum number is the very, very, very important. These are the Three essay type questions in the atomic structure. What is alpha ray scattering experiment? Rutherford alpha ray scattering experiment. Rutherford atomic model. Bohr's atomic model. Bohr's atomic model is the explanation of hydrogen spectra. What is hydrogen spectra? Explain in detail. Why? Because hydrogen is the only simple molecule consisting of single electron system. But in the spectroscopy, they are formation of the number of component lines. These components lines are classified into five categories, Lyman series, Balmer series, Pauchan series, Pauchan bracket, bracket and fund series. These are present in that, but particularly Lyman series is present in the, in the ultraviolet region. Balmer series is visible region. Remaining other three series is present in the IR region, infrared region. So you have to remember these are the regions also very important in a multiple choice question. They're explained. The Bohr's model is explained this particular hydrogen spectra. Why they are getting means. So hydrogen gas is consisting of number of atoms are there. Due to of the energy taken by the electron, they jumped in the highest state. But at the highest state, the electrons are unstable. They are coming to the lowest state. Due to falling the lowest state, the lines are formed. If the formation of the any electron is falling from the any higher orbitals to first orbit, that line is called as a Lyman series. If any electron is falling from any higher orbit to second orbit, those are called as a Balmer series. If third orbit, it is called as a Lyman, that is Balmer patch. Next is the fourth orbit is called as a bracket. Fifth orbit is called as a fun series. Like that, Bohr is explained that. Quantum numbers, we are having of the quantum. Why the importance of the quantum means? Quantum numbers is we are identified the electron in an atom. 
in atom how the electron is present where it is present whether it is axis x axis or y axis or z axis how it is rotating whether in the orbital s orbital or p orbital or d orbital or f orbital how it is clockwise direction or anti clockwise we are helping with the help of the quantum numbers you can identify you are, you are having of the four quantum numbers are there principal quantum number magnetic quantum number azimuthal quantum number and also spin quantum number so first is a principal quantum number second is a azimuthal quantum number third is a magnetic fourth is a spin quantum number principal quantum number what it gives number of shells main shells k l m n shells are there in this each shell how many number of electrons can accommodate that will be given by the 2n square formula for that we are getting of each orbit is associated with the number of electron first orbit can accommodate only maximum is two electrons second orbit eight electrons third orbit 18 electrons fourth orbit 32 electrons that is explained by the principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number in the orbit what are the sub orbitals orbitals are present s orbital p orbital d orbital f orbital this one s orbital can accommodate only two electrons p orbital can accommodate six electrons d orbital 10 electrons f orbital can accommodate 14 electrons like that we are explaining in the azimuthal quantum sorry, azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number means number of orientation in which direction x r y or z direction the electrons are located that is a number of orientation s orbital is not having any orientation but p orbital is having the three orientation d orbital five orientations f orbital seven orientations are there next fourth is a spin quantum number the electron is how it is rotating clockwise direction or anti clockwise if the clockwise direction is called as a plus half anti clockwise direction is called as a minus half so these are the quantum numbers after the quantum number short questions are there what is pauli's exclusion principle what is heisenberg uncertainty principle what is aubo principle what is ohm's rule and electronic configuration this is about the atomic structure gas state what is the boyle's law what is charles law what is avogadro's law won't ask what is ideal gas equation how to derive ideal gas equation if pv is equal to nrt is important in that r is the universal gas constant r values are five values are there those are important next kinetic gas equation is there how to derive the kinetic gas equation pv is equal to 1 by 3 mnc square we have to derive the by means of the collision theory pv is equal to 1 by 3 mnc square next is a van der waals equation any different that means uh, the relationship between the van der waals constant and critical constant the relations is also asked in the examination next is a law of corresponding state is important in the gas state this is about the third block now coming to the fourth block periodic table what is a modern periodic table how it is classified so the periodic table is classified into seven periods and 18 groups what are the important properties what are the elements are classified the elements are classified on the basis of the electronic configuration they are classified into s block p block d block f block s p d b f blocks they are classified on the basis of the electronic configuration means the last electron is enter into the which orbital that is classified on the basis of that one next is a the electrons these particular elements also classified into representative elements transition elements inner transition elements and zero group elements and what are the properties atomic size ionization potential electron affinity electronegativity the properties you have to write what do you mean by the definition what are the trends in the group and predest you have to write okay this is about the periodic table like that you have to easily pass the marks through getting of the out of whatever the numbers you are getting of 80 marks easily you are getting of 80 marks by this so remaining third block and fourth block questions will be i will post in the whatsapp group but we are already taken the first and second group why because some technical problem is there to not opening the that particular third and fourth blocks okay any doubts right i am leaving the class thank you sir okay ma so if you are doubts ma just put as a on the message i will clarify but don't do that one what is a in the evening hours only not in the day time so in the evening hours i will clarify your doubts whatever the doubts you are having of that one i will clarify with the third and fourth black also right fine excuse me sir ah tell me in boyle's law charles law that bar graph graph also there we need to draw that also better ma explanation for us why because in the charles law what happened we are getting of the constant na yes sir this direct proportional to observed temperature there is a charles law and uh, what is the boyle's law p is inversely proportional to the volume 
So all your treasury is inversely proportional to value. What happened? You are getting off. Like that, you are getting off the Avogadro's law. That means the whatever the you are taking the value of the any gas of the molecule is directly proportional to the number of moles. This V is directly proportional to N. V is inversely proportional to what P means if it's a boils. V is directly proportional to T means absolute temperature means chalice. V is inversely directly proportional to the N means it is our Gardner's law. From this equation, you are getting off the ideal gas equation. P V is equal to NRT. Okay.